Hello, welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop right into it. Let's get a universal message here. Let's see what the universe wants to say to you at this time, Pisces. All right, what does the universe want to say at, to Pisces? Remember that it's okay to be happy. Really, it is. Okay, Pisces, the universe is saying it is okay to be happy. Remember that it really is. You don't have to sacrifice your happiness for no one else's. It's okay for you to enjoy yourself too and to experience happiness, okay? So that's what it is. That's what the universe wants you to know. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's do an energy check. You know, I know it's a lot of people don't really watch these energy checks, but there are a few people who do. So I'm going to continue on doing the energy checks for those who, you know, appreciate it all right so let's hop into it pisces let's see what is your overall energy at this time and we have the queen of pentacles okay so what situation in your life do you hold value to right so this is you this is your energy right now you worried about what's valuable to your life okay that's your overall energy right stability right what situation in your life you hold value to yourself right your stability right your financial situation right so you all about maintaining your stability at this time maintaining the things that you value right the physical things that you value the things you need to to be stable in this world Right? So that's your overall energy, right? Maintaining stability. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's challenging you at this time. And it's the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so this situation in your life shows your greatest accomplishments, right? So you're trying to maintain your stability, Pisces. Your, your biggest challenge is trying to be great, trying to be perfect, okay? Nothing is perfect. The universe is saying right here with this Ten of Pentacles, chill out, relax. Things are going to come to you in divine time. You're going to get that moment to shine. Right, But it's not going to happen when you want it to happen. You don't have to put on the show or a facade for nobody. Everything you do, make sure that you're doing it for yourself. And don't get too sucked up into this physical world. Don't let this physical world change you here. Right? So even though you're trying to maintain this status, don't live beyond your means. Okay? Don't live beyond your means. Ain't not, we ain't front and we ain't got a front. Okay, so that's what that's what's going on here, Pisces. Your overall energy is to maintain your stability. Your challenge is to keep it maintained, right? To enjoy it when you get it, right? Don't try to live beyond your means. Live within your means. It's okay. It is okay. So let's see what the universe wants you to know right now. The nine of wands. The wounded warrior, right? So what's it, what are you determined to achieve in your life that you are about to give up on, right? So it's something more important. It's, it's a bigger battle you fighting. You don't fight the flesh. We don't wrestle around with the flesh, right? So it's like you wounded inside. You, you hide it with your status, with, with what you got, what you can show. Right. It, it don't even have to be living beyond your means. It's just your your you, everything that glitter ain't gold. You got problems, too. You not perfect. Nobody is. Nobody is. You don't have to suffer in silence. You don't have to hide what you feel. That's what the universe is saying. You don't need these physical things to complete you, to validate you in no type of way. We don't wrestle around with physical things. We we don't wrestle the flesh. It's you cannot suffer in silence. Okay? You cannot suffer in silence. You cannot give up on your on your very self. You have to keep fighting. You have to keep going on. But you have to be real with yourself. You don't have to live up to other people's expectations of you. 
You don't have to work so hard. That is not your fight. That's why you wounded. Don't give up on your true talents, your true gifts, your true skills. The things that make you happy, the things that you love to do, the things that you're passionate about. This is what the universe is saying, Pisces. No, don't give up on your true self. Don't give up on your true vision, your true love, your true passions, right? Your true gifts. So let's see, what is your recent past energy, Pisces? What is Pisces' recent past energy here? And we got the Six of Wands. Are you ready to be recognized for all your efforts and achievements? So in the past, Pisces, you've been making big things happen. Maybe you're trying to maintain your lifestyle. Maybe you're trying to maintain your success. In the recent past, right? In the recent past, you may have been recognized for your true gifts, your true talents. And that's the energy that you need to get back into. Somewhere along, even if it's fame, Pisces, even if somebody came up, hit a lick, start getting money now. Don't let that change who you are. Don't, don't let these physical things destroy that true light that lives within you, right? Because... You can have things and in the same instant, it can be taken away. So you could be recognized for your true talents, your true gifts. You know, you deserve to be successful. Just don't let it take over you. Let's see. How do you think? What's going on in your mind space right now? And We have the Empress. What is growing and evolving in my life that needs my attention, right? Because there's just something else the universe was saying. What is growing and evolving in your life that needs your attention? Pisces, you can't control everything. You can't control everything, right? But you want to, you want to. Right? You want to have control over the things that mean something to you. But sometimes things don't work out that way. So it's like release the things that you cannot control. Right? It doesn't mean that it holds any less value. It still has a value. It's just one you got to let go of. You got to let it grow and blossom on its own. You got to let it take form on its own. I get the energy that in your mind, everything that's of value to you, everything that means something to you, you want it to stay close to you. You want to keep nurturing it. You want to keep caring for it. But you have to let certain things go so you can get to the root of the issues that's really there, right? Because this says what is growing and evolving in my life that needs my attention, right? Some some things in your life has already served its purpose. You, you have to release. There's other things that's becoming of you that you need to hold value to now. Right. So when your mind is like you just trying to figure things out, you're trying to figure out what you can let go and what like a priority check, a reality check. Right. What's most important in my life right now? That's what the universe is saying. Right. That's why it's on your mind, because the universe is speaking to you because it wants you to be happy. Right. And the way to be happy is not giving up on the things that you truly want for yourself. Right? So that's what it is, Pisces. Let's see how you viewing your future. How is Pisces viewing their future at this time? And we have the Knight of Swords. What action needs to be taken to get something accomplished? Right? So you're trying to change your life, right? You won't focus. You're going to be focusing on the things that change your life. You're going to be focusing on the things that you need to do to progress and to move on. 
But don't rush it. Don't rush it. Everything happens when it's supposed to. So let's see, Pisces, how you feeling about yourself here? How is Pisces feeling about themselves? And we have the food. Where is a new beginning happening in your life? Okay, so where? What's happening? What's changing? What are you starting a new journey on? Where do you begin? Right? So this is these are the questions that you ask yourself. The reason why is because you have so many natural gifts and talents. It's so many things that you're passionate about. Some of you just may not know where to start and which way to go and what to do first. But begin somewhere, right? Have faith in everything that you do. Some of you are taking a new journey off into a, a, an entrepreneurship, your own business. Some are you, some of you are beginning to really tap into what makes you happy. And that's where you start. Whatever makes you happy. Because the universe is saying, it's okay to be happy. It really is. It's okay to let go and release control and not live up to other people's expectations of you. Not to give up on what your true heart's desire is. That's what we all should be moving forward on. That's where we begin. We begin with love. That's the whole point of life. You here to love. So begin with love, Pisces, whatever it is, whatever this new beginning is, however you feeling about yourself, whatever you want to start new within yourself, know that it starts with love. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your environment. And we have the star. What needs to heal in order for you to realize your deepest dreams? So what needs to heal for you to realize your deepest dreams, Pisces? And it's, uh, it has a lot to do with the things that go on around you. Maybe you need to change your settings, your environment, the people. Maybe you could rearrange your house or, you know, do something to make something different, to reset your energy. Because right now it's feeling like you need to clear out some space. A lot of things ain't serving you no more, Pisces. You change. You are healing. You are evolving. You are growing. You are aligning with who you truly supposed to be and with who you truly are. So a lot of things just no longer serving purposes or it don't feel the same. <coughs> Excuse me. So what needs to heal in order for you to realize your deepest dreams? So in your environment, it's time for you to figure out your priority. What's best for you? And you got to release those things that that no longer serve you, that keep you in a low vibrational space or energy flow disruption or a little bit of depression or, you know, whatever it is, it's time to heal and move on. So let's see what's in your hopes and fears, Pisces. What's in Pisces hopes and fears? And we have the King of Swords. What situation in your life is calling you to have logic and clarity? Right? So Pisces, you just want straight facts. Your biggest fear is to make the wrong decision because you didn't know better. Right? Your standpoint now is to know better and do better. Right? Right? So it's about being sure about things, right? Gathering information, 
thinking about the things you do before you do them. Think before you speak, right? You operating on nothing but straight facts these days. And your biggest fear is just to be caught slipping. Okay? And that's just period. Anybody's biggest fear would be get caught slipping. Or being misguided or getting misinformation. Or not knowing the truth of a situation. That will bother anybody. Especially when they're directly involved. So let's see what's coming towards you, Pisces. Let's see what's coming towards Pisces at this time. And we have the Hierophant. What am I ready to commit to in my life? Right? A big decision. A big learning experience is coming. Right? Because you're about to commit to something totally different. Something on a whole nother level. Something you may have thought you could never do or never even tried before. Never even thought about before. But it's happening. And you're about to be truly committed to something. Maybe it is your happiness. Maybe it is your stability. Maybe it is one of your hidden talents. You know, maybe it is a new beginning. Maybe it's healing. Whatever it is, you're about to commit to a whole new lifestyle. Because you're transcending. You're changing. You're evolving. You're growing. This is a new step for you, a new phase. So this is what's coming towards you, Pisces. Commitment. Commitment. Whether it's coming from you or someone else. But commitment is coming towards you, Pisces. Let's see what's crossing all this energy. And it's the Seven of Pentacles. What situation in your life are you ready to invest your time and energy and money into? Right? You. You're ready to invest everything into yourself. Right? So I hope this resonated, Pisces. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. We have the sixth chakra, and it's the third eye chakra, and this one is relevant to knowledge. You want to know all you can. I recognize that a great deal of knowledge and information comes to me in the form of intuition. Such as clairvoyance, clairaudience, and hypersensitive feelings. I use my intellect combined with my intuition to devolve into circumstances from a psychological and spiritual viewpoint. I aim to understand the truth behind situations that come my way as this helps me to respond with wisdom. I cultivate positive beliefs about myself and others. All right, so knowledge is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.